What the project was about was about looked after children, otherwise known as children in care, and these are children who are removed from their families, usually because they have experienced neglect and abuse or abuse. So they're living in foster families, perhaps in residential homes, and one feature of those children is that they tend not to make very good progress at school. So some do, but many don't. And there's a number of reasons for that, but the main one is that having left home, having been abused, children have a variety of emotional and behavioural problems, and that has consequences for the way that children behave when they become older, what they're like in school, whether they can concentrate, if they engage with learning, and so on. What we did was look at all children in England who took their GCSEs in summer 2013 and we worked with the government, the Department for Education, and we accessed their databases. So there is one large database on all children in England who take their exams at school and there's another database of children in care in England as they pass through the care system and grow up in care. And what we can now do for the first time is link those two databases and do a very detailed analysis of what happens to children in care and how they compare with children not in care um, in their attainments, their attendance at school, their examinations and so on. What we found was that most children who come into care do make progress and they made better progress than do children who stay living at home but receiving some social work support where problems aren't quite so severe. So to show education of children in care that care is a, a protective factor educationally was the first time that that, that has happened. It was really helpful to have that research because I think it's had a, an impact at quite a high level. So it's um, had interest from politicians. Um, Edward Timpson came to speak at the launch of the, of the research. And I think that has then um, worked, worked its way, hopefully, into government um, planning and government uh, legislation around um, the education of looked after children. So for me, as a virtual head teacher, um, it's, it's useful in my day-to-day -day, um, work. I quote it in terms of how important attendance is. I'm able to quote that research as, uh, as part of that evidence. But also I think it will have a wider impact um, in terms of the legislation and the political um, will around ensuring that looked after children, uh, children in care, have um, a really positive ed education experience. So that, that's why I think it's been really important. I'm very pleased with the work that we did. I think, um, you know, having done this for 30 years, you know, you are humbled. Um, you, know, you come across some very difficult situations. If you look at how some children are treated by their parents and you interview children and you read and analyse those statements, you know, things are very, very troubling. And social workers and foster carers and teachers every day um, are dealing with that. We train social workers at the University of Bristol and they go out and then do this every day of their lives. So as a researcher, you are exposed to that. We're one step removed. But certainly we were very pleased that the sector welcomed our research. They found it useful. Government and the government minister, Ed Timpson, said some very positive comments. Ofsted has wanted to meet with us to look at what we found and how they can use it. So we are pleased and we are proud of what we did and we hope it makes a difference. Mm -hmm.